<clears throat> Shalom, it's the brother Yahweh Shapat coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in the scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you brothers that's on the highways and the byways, pushing this word out and truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so. Now, so more than ever, to you I say Shalom. This is a, a update, you know, on just what's what's going on as of here recently. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these, you know, just because, you know, I, I want to keep my, my page flooded with content as much as possible, uh, you know, all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Um, I have a second page, which I'm going to be, Lord willing, uh, I'll, I'll upload lessons to that channel as well, just because, you know, when you go hard on YouTube, man, Esau will find anything he can to get your channel strike or whatever. I already have like one or two strikes, so if I get another one, I'm pretty sure this channel is channel going to be deleted. But, um, yeah, anyway, it's, I have an article here. It says, the Fed says U.S. employment is actually about 10% nearly double the official rate and matching the worst of the great recession so the lord is bringing this place you know hey damn man this place is through you know what i'm saying there barely are any jobs out there and um you know you have a lot of people that just don't want to work they want to depend on, on esau to take care of them so they on unemployment but you know with all that being said man that's why the scriptures say, uh, woe unto you that go unto Egypt for help. Because eventually what Esau is doing is he's pushing everybody's back into a corner. And then he's going to bring out the chip and the Maxine and try to play God. You know, he's going to try to play the most high as if he can solve everybody's problems. Hey, man, um, now is the time to really start just putting yourself in the mindset of, you know what? Hey, I'm totally depending on the Lord, you know, on Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai for everything. Because it's going to come a point in time where that's going to be what our reality is. And a lot of us aren't used to that. You're used to the Lord giving you what you need to make it. But as this place goes down, we're going to lose some things. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, you got to prepare your mind for that, man. You can't be so caught up in this place that. You know, you, you, you're you failing to realize that, hey, once this place goes down, we're, we're going to be affected by it, too. So, you know, now is the time to be drawing nigh unto the Lord, man. Like the scriptures say, draw nigh unto the Lord and he shall draw nigh unto you. Now is the time to be, you know, a hey, building that relationship closer and closer to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai because they're going to be the ones taking care of us through Jacob's trouble. We don't know how we're going to eat. We don't know how we're going to survive, but we do know that we're going to survive by way of faith that we've been blessed with. Faith is a gift, by the way. But um, anyway, getting into this article, it says Federal Reserve Chair, Chair Jerome Powell said on Wednesday that the actual U.S. unemployment rate is likely higher than its officially recorded level of 6.3%. And of course, we know that it is, and this is them making their tongues to fall upon themselves because, you know, whatever they putting on the news, you can believe 25, if 10% of it, of it, you know, you, they giving you what they want you to know. And, uh, you know, Esau loves to mix truth with lies. So, you know, Hey, basically they're coming out and telling you people are doing worse than we're reporting to you, you know, says the Fed chair said adjusting federal data to reflect certain trends would cause it to be nearly 10%. It's a level nearly twice as large as the official rate and one matching the worst of the Great Recession a decade ago. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said on Wednesday that the U.S. unemployment is about 10% or nearly twice the official recorded rate that roughly equal to the two Great Recession levels more than a decade ago. The Fed chair make, made the remarks in a speech on strengthening a battered labor market at the Economic Club of New York. 
and the labor market is being better because who's doing that? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is doing that, man. You know, the scriptures told us that, you know, coming into the last days, the grinding will cease, you know. Um, there will be famines. There will be uh, food shortages. These are all the beginning of sorrows, man, you know. I've been, me, myself, personally, I've been practicing on, uh, you know, uh, just eating less, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, hey, really, really just kind of, you know, portioning everything out, not really eating unless I'm hungry or whatever, you know? Hey, but, you know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is going to take care of the hopeful elect because we're all we, you know, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are all we got. You know, I don't depend on anybody else for anything i mean i get help from people but that's really the lord putting the spirit on people to help you you know so hey man y'all i mean y'all about some y'all was shot is taking care of brothers man even in this time you know because we have nothing to worry about but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read on down a little bit more and then i'm gonna get a couple of scriptures the latest jobs report showed the economy recovered forty nine thousand jobs in January, a meager amount after the U.S. lost 227,000 jobs in December. Damn. Yeah, see, that's that's crazy, man. The official unemployment rate dropped to 6.3%. says, but Powell also indicated that the labor market was in worse shape than previously thought. He said that the U.S. had a long way to go before reaching full employment a situation where everyone looking for a job is able to get one. And we're not going to get to that point. I don't give a damn, at, which I hope not. I don't give a damn if it's two or three years from now. This place is going to keep going down a steep decline. It's that Biden and Kamala Harris are not going to make America great again. Trump couldn't make America great again. The one who made America great in the first place was the Heavenly Father. You know? So, you know, basically... The unemployment rate has increased because labor is decreasing. And uh, with, that, with no further ado, I want to get a couple of scriptures, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Let's see. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind. Because Esau, you didn't make America great. The Heavenly Father made this place great. He made you what you are. He set you up, and now the Lord is going to take you down like he always proposed to do anyway. It's just your time. You had your time, and now your time is coming to an end. That's really what's going on. You know, all of these different plagues, people not having jobs, death, famine, pestilence, all of these come from the Heavenly Father, and they are all spirits of vengeance. The Lord is taking vengeance on this place. These are curses that are being put on this place. Because of what this place is involved in. We all know what that is. You know, which is, is, is not just the sodomy. It's different other things too, man. It's, this place just has to go. The world is due. This earth is due for a reset. You know. This is Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Let's see. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Hey Amen. Every, everybody, all these other nations that really came over here to um, use America, they're finding out that this place is, 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 is done, bro. They're going back home. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is ditching the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar doesn't hold any weight on top of, you know, the jobs that you can get to make uh, a, a U.S. dollar being, uh, you know, they're being taken away. The Lord's fucking this place up, man. And I'm, you know, 
you know, when you getting this truth, bro, you living life on the edge. And the Lord likes you to be that way because it develops a certain character and it and 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 you know it develops a good, you know, a good amount of faith, man. When you don't you constantly put in situations where you don't know if you're gonna be able to pay your rent. You don't know if you're gonna have an internet connection to upload lessons. Just different stuff, man. You know. And then the Lord make a way for you out of nowhere. You know, that that's requiring faith, but the point being, hey man, this this place is is, is done, bro. You know? The men of the Lord, we are already living on edge. So we are that's what we doing. We hastening to the coming of the day of the Lord, man. We don't give a damn. I'm hey, I'm ready for this place to fall because I already know what I'm involved in. I know what's coming. I don't know exactly. I don't have a blueprint or anything. But, you know, I know Esau is going to try to roll on us, man. I know that the Lord is going to test us. I know that the uh, the mark of the beast is going to be, you know, the hour of temptation is going to come on earth to try everybody that dwells here and therein. You know? So nothing's going. None, none of this is coming as a surprise to us who are in the know. Get some other scriptures. I see, uh, you know, the unemployment rate and the loss of jobs are very uh, synonymous with each other. You know, they go hand in hand. And Esau is cutting all these jobs because he wants people depending on him. You know, all of it. What's what's this leading up to? All of this. Uh, this joblessness, all of this uh, sedition among me and these different things that are going on, it's just going to lead for a reason uh, for this man to implement martial law, which is what they want anyway. This country is, is literally in a state of chaos right now, man. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, which that represents the elite, the so-called Illuminati, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Because these uh, these elites, they don't know what's going on, man. You know, yeah, it's a lot of, for the most part, this shit is out of their hands. They do have, uh, the Lord does allow them to think that they have a certain amount of control over certain things, but they really don't. And they really don't know what's going on. Hell, they looking at the videos, man. You know? They look at our videos to, you know, acquire and attain certain awareness of certain things. Because just like hey, in, uh, during the time of Babylon, when, you know, King Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, he had all these prognosticators and all these different you know, um, left-handed, spiritually aware individuals that couldn't tell him anything. And Daniel called upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and got an answer for him. You know? So it's the same thing now. They want to know, man, what the fuck is going on, man? And they're having to come to our videos to find out. You'll be surprised at who are uh, at who who those viewers are. You know what I'm saying? You know? Hey, this place is done, man. The grinding is ceasing. You know? And this, this is just like a little quick impromptu. You know? Um, hey, things are worse than what they're telling you. And, you know, people should be aware of this, man. You know you can't believe a damn thing Esau says. You, can believe, you can't believe most of it anyway. You know, yeah, man, this this place is done, bro. And there is no coming back from this. Hell, I think I heard Biden say something about 29 years later, you know, America is going to be back on track. No, man, this place ain't got no damn 29 years left. Are you nuts? Yeah, he didn't lost his mind. We don't have 29 years. Hell, if Esau gets to rule the earth for 29 more years, there will not be an earth. 
That's why the, there won't be any people for the Lord to say. That's why the Lord, that's why the scriptures say, um, those days uh, shall be shortened for the elect's sake, you know? Or, or, or else there there would be no flesh left to save, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. But yeah, man, you know, so brothers who got a job, I personally, I have one right now. It's a blessing, you know, to be able to take care of yourself and to get the basic things you need. Like the Lord's judging a lot of people right now. There's a lot of people that are, you know, very, very down bad. And Esau is not going to televise everything because he don't want everybody in a state of panic. He wants y'all to stay asleep. He don't want y'all to be awoken, you know. So I'm going to close out with that. Hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Until the next time I say Shalom.